let's do this. Let's do some more Monster Train with Covenant Rank 16. Which, by the way, uh, it appears that my stream is mislabeled as 15. Let's change that. All right. Let me see, what have I not maxed out? Melting Remnant, Umbra, and Stygian Guard. We have Max Hellhorn. So, I feel like doing some Umbra. Let's do Umbra Stygian. This should be interesting. Interested to see how these play together. Of course, you're mostly informed by your starting cards. Alright, we got Prismal Dust, that's really good. We got Ice Tornado, that tells me I might want to try to go for Spell Weakness, although kind of hard without the Stygian Hero. And there's Void Binding. Apply Damage Shield 2, Rage 6, and Ember Drain 3. Uh, because we're not using the Wax guys, it's kind of hard to make good use of this. Because we can't clear off the, the Ember Drain. God, two ice tornadoes. Hmm. That's awkward. Mm. Alright, so we got the Gorge guy, or the Summon and Gain Mana guy. This I haven't used yet. Oh wait, no, that doesn't give mana, that gives capacity. How does that... What does that say? Two capacity on this floor. Does that... I guess that adds two capacity every time I summon something. That's interesting. I must have... been seeing the uh, symbol wrong this whole time. I always thought that was mana. Could we make use of that, I wonder? Not... Not really. Not with this deck so far. So we'll go for the Gorge. And we'll feed him. Oh, interesting. Move between floors outside of the ascension phase. Well, we don't have anything that moves stuff around, so let's just take the mallet. This hero is very, very strong, so... Um, we'll do the Mark of Invasion. Our relic here is going to kill most of this stuff. Uh, we have a lot of direct damage, so even the stuff on top will not... Uh, will probably be killable. But this is going to be a bunch of 1 HP stuff, so that relic is going to kill an awful lot of them. Or not. I guess it only killed two. We rolled poorly. Okay. But we've got Ice Tornado. <laughs> um, so if we did Ice Tornado right here, these two would die. I'd really like to feed him but I don't think I have that choice. Do get to kill both of them. Very expensive card. Hopefully we draw into it again. Mmm. Alright, so we got cucked out of the collector. Unfortunately, nothing I can do. We have lifesteal on our boy here. Um, what we ought to do is lance, lance, and then make a shade splitter. We want to kill as many of these as possible. No shade splitters. Hey, no problem, Wesley. Alright, so if I tornado, I can kill these guys in the back. So I should do that instead of prismal dusting. We have a rather awkward start here, Wesley, so it should be should be interesting. Um Okay, we're gonna put Hmm. Um, 
Let's see. You know what? I, I think I want to Prismal Dust this guy. Except that's only going to block two damage. So it's better if I do the Steward. And if I do that, it's going to, um, unfortunately, it's going to stop me from feeding him further. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to put it at the bottom. There's our Void Binding. Now the problem with this is I'm going to be completely out of mana. I wonder if it's even worth it to cast it on him. I'm going to say probably not. Yeah, probably not. Although something we could do is we could void bind this guy and then we will not actually suffer the ember drain is the thing. Hey, Wesley has the same idea. So we get all the value out of that. Actually, I should have put him behind, probably. Okay, you've got the right idea. Alright, we have Ice Tornado again. We can use that to kill the guy in the back. And then I think we Prismal... Prismal Dust, our boy. We'll get more out of that than a Shade Splitter. So let's do this. Nice. And then we Dust. And he dies. Not bad. Only bad thing about that is we missed the... Uh, fairy and there's really no getting around that. Okay, um... Okay. I really hate this Perils of Production card. don't think it's very good. Uh, we certainly want the Packed Morsels. They're very good, especially for which Penumbra we have. Uh, and I guess, even though this is expensive, we kind of already have backline removal. So I'm gonna go for the Packed Morsels. So another Ice Tornado, we really don't want it. Um, sort of tempted to take the Flash Freeze. It's a cheaper form of backline removal. But unless I find Hoarfrost and a lot more Freeze, I don't know if it's really worth it. Amazing free energy engine once your Morsel production is solid. Yeah, that's, I suppose that's true. You do have to have the rubble morsels, but put hold over on it and cast a, a morsel every single turn. I see. Why not just do that to the morsel miner and have a better type of morsel and not, uh... Well, I guess it generates mana. Kind of pays for itself. Right, I think I'm just going to take the gold here. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're definitely building around Penumbra. He's just too good with that gorge. Um, so I don't think we really need an Umber unit. What we really need is to make this Ice Tornado not suck, so let's do this. We need money anyway. I see what you mean, Wesley. Okay, we could Permafrost the Prismal Dust. That might be cool. Um... Could Power Stone the Ice Tornado, that's cool too. We certainly want to Ember Stone the Ice Tornado. That's for sure, it's just too expensive right now to function as good backline removal. Okay. Yeah, let's Permafrost the Prismal Dust, get it at the perfect time. Um, we'll Power Stone on the cheaper Ice Tornado, I think. Yeah, exactly, Wesley. Although it's... Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if it might be better to just make it super duper cheap, you know, like two Ember Stones. I'm real tempted to re-roll, but I really want to save my money. 
And I think we can do the next fight without re-rolling. Re-rolling, I've, I've come to decide, is very, very expensive. And I suspect at higher covenants it gets even more expensive. Alright, unit draft. Draft a primary or allied clan unit. We don't get to know which. Um... just realized we, we still really are super reliant on the Penumbra. I think I do want to have a unit draft. Like, it wasn't worth pathing into a, uh, a banner, but I think this, this is worth it. But the problem with that is that it cucks me out of my relic. And boy, do we need the help. Um, 40 HP... Well, on the other hand, if the priests go up, it doesn't matter because they don't do damage, yeah? So we just need to get the Penumbra up to 40... 40 damage. That's kind of hard. It would become 50 damage if I put on the emblem. That's basically impossible. Yeah, I think I'm going to not take the, the challenge here. Because otherwise I'm just completely reliant on my spells doing doing the extra damage. On the other hand, actually I think we'll be okay. We have a lot of we have a lot of direct damage here now. Like this ice tornado and this ice tornado. That's that's sixty damage. Um, that'll still one shot the priests. Yeah, we'll we'll try this. We'll see. And the soundtrack to this game is just a real stunner, man. Put that there. Uh, certainly we cast the Super Ice Tornado. Yeah, that's really good. I made the right choice. Could go ahead and kill him with the Lance. Uh, I feel like I'd rather put my Steward here. So as to deal with the... Uh, Oh, I keep calling them fairies, but... Oh, <laughs> the relic killed it immediately. That's pretty sick. Okay. And Tumbra Morsel. Is it weird that I'm tempted to use my Shade Splitter uh, just to fill the deck up with morsels and then leave these in hand such that I can... Uh, <laughs> such that I can just like draw into them later for the Penumbra. Like, I, I mostly am interested in stacking damage on this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. That may be a really weird choice, but I'm gonna do that. Five plus three is six, seven, eight. Yeah. Uh, I will go ahead and use the Rubble Morsel, though. And gain mana. Mm-hmm. He'll gain... six attack power. Sadly, no more than that. He does get to encant, that's fine. That heal is really obnoxious. Okay, this is not going to die unless I lance him a couple of times. Or... Hmm. It makes sense for me to do this. Get a little damage there. This here. Okay, he'll die now. This five will still reach the top, but what am I gonna do, you know? Uh, we'll save the Prismal Dust.
Okay, so the question is, do I want an Ice Tornado more than I want a Prismal Dust? I think the answer is yeah, even though it means we only have one Prismal. Um, although, if I drew into the other Ice Tornado, it would be nice. Um, but just killing this stuff is a lot of value. But there's no guarantee is the thing. There's no guarantee that all three will not just hit the High Priest. Um, but this is just a lot of damage. Okay, see, we didn't kill the Foot Soldier. We did kill the guy that was healing, so that's kind of nice, I guess. Yeah, that's probably true, Wesley. Uh, no, actually, I, I disagree, because look how much damage I do, 48. It's a moot point anyway, like this thing just loses. Because this version of Penumbra is broken as hell. <laughs> okay, um, how are you going to utilize two Prismals in one turn? Uh, I was going to, one of them's frozen, remember? So I would utilize the one and then I'd utilize the other the next turn. The, I was going to... No, I was gonna pris I was gonna prismal my uh, champ the both times. Why wouldn't I just stack uh, damage shield that way? All right, prism could be pretty useful here. As much as I need more morsels, um, this is gonna let me put, if I want, uh, more more morsels on the same floor. Okay, that is energy siphon. Giving spell week would be kind of cool. I don't, I don't know how much value I can get out of that in terms of like, you know, ice tornado is random, you know. Uh, but I kind of think it's worth taking if I'm gonna keep if I'm gonna keep this spell. It's a very muddled path to victory, but in this game, I've found that it's generally best to just focus on one win condition and not try to do multiple things. The game says type racer. Oh, did I screw up? Shit, I did. Thank you for the heads up. That's fixed now. Damn. Uh, I'll probably have to delete that VOD. Um, wonder if I can do that real quick. Give me one second here. Video producer. Yeah. Well, oh, you're right. I can change the game name after the screen. Uh, well, after the stream. Too late. I, I already deleted the VOD. <laughs> it'll, it'll be on YouTube. I just like to be careful because technically it's... Uh, you can get in trouble for broadcasting with the wrong... Um, with the wrong category, and I, I never do it intentionally, but like a couple of times I've accidentally left on a different thing. It's not super likely that I would catch flack for it, but you know, it's best to follow terms of service. Anyway, um, what we're trying to decide is whether I want to take this in energy siphon or not. And the, really the real value in Energy Siphon is to stack it many, many, many times. I don't think it's really worth it to take it if you're not able to stack it many times. It's just going to junk the deck up. This Ice Tornado and this Ice Tornado, these, in my mind, are just backline removal for this deck. They're not a win con. So I think we just take money. And we're largely just using our Stygian cards just, just for some easy backline removal, and that's it. So we'll just take cash here. Now this is backline removal right here, this sentry. Um, I'm sure they would bust you for trying to catch the hype of Type Racer while you play Monster Train. You cannot take chances, man. Like, I just don't have a very high opinion of Twitch. Uh, they've banned people for dumber reasons than that. Or, or suspended people temporarily for dumber reasons than that. Okay, as cool as Tit Titan Sentry is, this is a Morsel Maker. I can't, I can't just not take a Morsel ma Maker. It's way too good. Especially with this 
champ. Okay. Keep it light. Oh, I see. <laughs> Things tend to go directly over my head. Um, artifacts are really good. I think I should probably pick up Pyre Health, though. Plus, we can upgrade our Morsel Maker here. Large stone, baby. Um, hmm. He would be okay in his own hallway if I made him large. Let's give him attack power. And let's make him into a big boy, I guess. So if need be, I can stick him in his own hallway. Uh, and I guess it feels weird to shield the steward, but I'm not going to pass on a 20 gold upgrade. Hmm. What the hell is this? Purge a card, gain a card. Okay. Uh, I will get rid of a Frost Lance. What am I going to get? Hmm. So I went for Umbra so that I could get more Shroud, uh, or more, uh, more Morsels. And we found Shroud Mitosis, which I haven't used before, but seems awesome. So hell yeah, we're going to use it. It's a really good pickup. Yeah, baby. It's a very strong deck. Honestly, I, I suspect it's hard to lose when you have this champ. Okay, there's not going to be a fairy here. Because this is a boss fight. Let's um, check this out. Let's put Penumbra here so it'll hit the boss. I could do my morsels. I think I'll wait for them. And we'll just put the morsel maker here so we'll have it every single turn going forward. I mean, we could put him in his own, in his own row, but... I don't... I don't necessarily see myself keeping up morsel production uh, more than two per turn, so we'll do that. Man, he looks cool when he's big. And then we will go ahead and do this, I guess. Um, maybe we'll build a really big... A, uh, a really... A really big train steward or something. Relic putting in work. Okay, so the space prism is going to do nothing for me. These things are going to get eaten, and, uh... You know, it's whatever. So... Yeah. Okay, getting value out of Ice Tornado. Oh! Not bad. Now the unfortunate thing about Morsel Maker is that uh, I'm not getting any lifesteal morsels or shield morsels this way. Um, so after after his lifesteal wears off, which it has, um, we're basically reliant on gaining 3 HP per turn from the Antumbra Morsel and the 1 HP from his Gorge. Um, still pretty good though. Alright, we're going to do our big ice tornado here. Uh, let's see, I could lance this thing. Why don't we do that so we can draw another lance and hopefully kill this next uh, next turn. Um, I could go ahead and Void Binding, I suppose, just to get the damage shield. It may be the right thing to do. It's only like 4 damage though, so I'm not going to do that. Now this is a problem. I'm gonna take a good chunk of damage on my penumbra here. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go, here we go. I could just go ahead and use my Prismal Dust, I suppose. Um, see, both these things die, so he only takes 11 damage. Yeah, let's do this. So we can soften this stuff up. I think I'll... Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20. Hmm. That would absorb one hit. Then 15 damage. Two of which is going into the shield. Yeah, this will kill two now. Good. Not bad. He's going to do 10 damage. He's going to lose 3 HP. What I'd like to do is start getting value out of these morsels. So I think I'm going to mitosis here. Yeah. Whoa, that made 3. Hold up. Oh, Shroud Mitosis is not consumed. Th yeah, three copies of a Morsel unit. That's even better than I thought. Also, I just realized I could have put this here. Uh, that was a mistake. Because it doesn't matter about the... doesn't matter about the capacity if you summon things in that way. Because it's a spell. It's okay. I'm learning. It's my first time using that spell. Okay. Uh, let's lance here, I think. wave. Both these things die. There's the ice tornado. Uh, but I think it's probably time to prismal dust. Killed timekeeper with 29,000 plus poison? Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's more than I've ever done. <laughs> I'm assuming you had like 20 catalysts or something. Did you have, like, a, a 10 Catalyst turn or something? Nightmare or something? Alright, we're definitely not going to get our other Prismal Dust, so we'll go ahead and do this. Okay. Uh, and then we'll... Probably get more value out of this. And we'll definitely be prismaling this turn. So he doesn't die, but... Boom! Now he dies. And then we also... Couldn't even do that. <laughs> yeah, this, this hero is just... Outrageous. Okay, that's... That's Umberstone. Um... That's going to be really good on our champ, so let's get that. Okay. Offering Monument, sort of tempting. Although, the Alloyed Construct would give me another... another big unit, which we kind of need. Having a second uh, floor would be nice. And honestly, the Alloyed Construct is, is a better combo with uh, Morsel Maker than Penumbra. Assuming I can keep Morsels to the max in his room without the Morsel Maker. It's weird that we haven't won with Offering Monument yet. It's a really good card. Card draw doesn't do a whole lot for us, so I am going to get the Construct. And we'll get Capacity. So we can fit more morsels per floor via actual summoning. Okay, there's a hell vent. We can copy our ice tornado, and it's probably the right thing to do because this is very expensive backline. Uh, having more of it would be nice. 
Copying the Shroud Mitosis is also an option. Uh, going to the Merchant of Magic to make the Shroud Mitosis better is also an option. Make it free or something. I am going to go for the Hellvent and the money. Hmm. Oh man, copying the Morsel Maker is an option. Put that behind the Alloyed Construct, put another one behind our champ. I think that's the actual right choice considering the upgrades on him. Three catalysts and a nightmare. Nice. Okay, spell shield. Can we live with that? It'll make us it so we can't kill the haste guys. They'll jump right to the top floor. But the 150 gold is probably worth it. We'll put alloy construct on the bottom and penumbra on top, or maybe the other way around. This will this will be okay. these both on turn one is sort of bad. They do zero damage, though. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. So he's not going to have any fuel. Problem with this dude is the fact that you need to, you need to feed him, you know? Um, which means he has to be in front, and he's not a particularly great tank. So you really want to give him quick or something, if possible. We didn't get any... We didn't we didn't get any uh, morsels at all first turn. So... Just to get damage in, I almost think we want to put Penumbra on the bottom. The Construct is not going to have damage if I put him on top, though. Which is important because the fairy is coming, so... Um, although we're not going to cut through these guys with the penumbra, really. Man, this is painful. Alright, we'll put this here. He'll take all of one damage, no big deal. I almost want to put... A steward. Hey, Alf, what's up, man? I think I want to put a steward behind. No, that's stupid. Um, yeah, we'll put a steward here. Get a little damage on him. Wrapped up bills for the day. Nice. Okay, so there it is. There's our collector. I would really like to use my ice tornado because otherwise we're not getting this kill. But I think I have to use my Morsel Makers. I got them both in the same hand, unfortunately, so... Um, I'm more inclined to feed my Penumbra than my Construct. I'm just going to have to live with not getting that kill. Feed our Construct so we can do something. There's the real damage. He's gonna do... Yeah, he's gonna do a little bit of damage here. Hmm. Okay. Do I want to Prismal Dust? I think I want to focus on getting morsels out. Okay, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and prismal dust this guy. We're probably not gonna have a better chance to to do it. Uh, 
I knew I was going to take some damage this fight due to the fact that they have spell shield and I just, I just can't kill backline under those circumstances unless my relic does its work. Um, Alright, here we go. Here we go. We got the Umberstone. Uh, we may as well go ahead and do that to him. Not that, it'll, not that it'll do anything right here, but later it might. Uh, would have been nicer on this dude if we could buff him, but not a lot of buffs are forthcoming. Okay. Um, interesting. How much fuel does he have? Two. I could use both frozen lances. I don't think we're going to get a lot of use out of this middle row. Like, everything, everything has haste, except this doesn't, so... Yeah, let's just cast, and then cast. Okay. So we cannot put packed morsels up here. However, I could space Prism right here and give our boy some help. It's not bad. Um, let me do this. Broke both spell shields, unfortunately. Didn't uh, kill the thing in the front like I wanted. It's pretty unlikely. He dies anyway. Okay, there is our... There's our boss. Um, it's probably worth it to go ahead and void binding this dude. One eighty-three, huh? He's gonna run out of fuel, is the thing. So if I were to shade splitter, one ninety-two. Okay. Is it better if I do that? Now, if I shroud my Tosis this Magma Morsel, this thing definitely dies, because I would get 369 extra damage. I just wonder if I shroud my Tosis this Magma Morsel, will, will he die? I doubt it. This thing is very weak. He only has three damage shields. Um, so we'll do that. Hey, Mr. Ostrom, how you doing, man? Now, I'm not going to have any Ember Drain to deal with, so... We'll just save the dust. Okay, and he dies. We'll cast these two things to not take damage yet. Ping, or are you really focused on game. What do you what do you need? Oh, are you saying I was like slow to respond to you? No, I was just really focused on the game. Alright, um I don't really care about this prism retrieval. I mean it would be kinda cool I guess with the morsel miner. Or not morsel miner, morsel morsel maker. Or even the Alloyed Construct, perhaps, but in reality, I kind of hate these cards that pull a creature, because it could very easily just give me a crappy train steward. Um, although we could remove that, I suppose. Crucible Extension. Would give us more space to make more morsels. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I think I will take the Prism Retrieval, though. It's just these X-cost things are kind of difficult to use sometimes. Okay. Sap and Frostbite. Eh. Let's take gold. I'm not a huge fan of Sap. Alright, so we have Pyre Remains. We did get a little bit hurt, so healing would be nice. Uh, there is another Hell Vent. Or we could go through here and get some gold. 
I gotta say that hell venting my morsel maker again doesn't even seem like a terrible idea. It's just kind of nice. Or even hell venting the ice tornado. <laughs> I like gold. Gold is good. Um, Merchant, of, Merchant of Magic is also good. Upgrading this Ice Tornado again. Or the Morsels, or the Prism Retrieval. I mean, there's a lot of good targets for magic upgrades. Um, I really can't say no to Caverns, though. And three Morsel Makers. We could get Dante. What's this? Ember Deposits. I've seen these, I think. No, I haven't seen this. Plus one mana per turn for every two Blight cards in deck. That's interesting. Um, calcified Embers become... become the draw cards. Yeah, I think I have seen this, actually. We don't have enough of a draw engine to make this work. The Rubble, on the other hand, could work quite well. Yeah. So we'll do this. Those will become draw cards. It's not that bad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't forget the pyre remains. Okay, armor 15. Take a look at their biggest HP unit, it's 95, so we have to do 110 damage per turn. Uh, or over the course of three floors, I suppose. I think we're okay with that. It does remove my ability to kill backline with the uh, the mallet, but so these guys are going to be annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. A number goes here, Morsel Maker goes here. Perfect start to the fight. I'm not even going to bother with the lance. Um, I'm really just so interested in feeding my boy here. Wait a minute. Does resolve not happen when you're dazed? I don't think Resolve happens when you're dazed. That's curious, I just now noticed that. Hmm. You've caved for the train? <laughs> Alright. That's good. How are you liking it? Check this out. Look at about two of these guys up here. It's gonna be awesome. Get this thing out of the deck. Downloading now. Well, I hope you enjoy it, man. Yep, Daze does, uh, does in fact stop resolve effects. That's wild. Okay, three guys die here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this guy attack power. I won't actually get Ember Drained, yeah? Um, but it will give him the ability to kill all of this stuff. Does days stop burnout? I'm gonna say no, but uh, I'm not. I'm not positive on that point. That's an interesting question. Okay, we'll go ahead and put a morsel maker here, because he's a big boy and he can kind of tank by himself. And we'll feed him some. Although maybe I should have put a. train steward behind him to kill another one of these guys. Okay, three things die. The thing in the back lives, which is perhaps not so good. Um, we could use our calcified ember, but I want to leave it since, um, since it turns into something good. We have no way to kill this guy in the back. Just can't happen. So it's best if I just cast my my alloyed construct. 
let's see. These guys don't do too much damage. Put them up there. I hate the fact that he's getting through. We're going to take some pyre damage, but... Uh, straight up nothing I can do about it. Packed morsels. Do I bother? It's hard to see how much damage these are doing. I think it's 2, 2, and 2. 2, 4, 6. So putting out packed morsels is almost useless. Um, I mean, we could do it. You know, um... And get one guy alive, I guess. I could even put another... Like so, and have two, two jewelers down here. Need trample on our boy here. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, good. We have our book. Uh, which means that if I use our book... Everything dies, except for the guy in the back. Um, well, that's a shame. What if I... What if I do the lance? If I do the lance, more things should die. Maybe. 71. Oh man, I so don't feel like doing the math here. Let's just assume cool things are going to happen. Yep, alright. I could Prism Retrieve for zero mana. Uh, I'll just wait though. Okay, there's the boss. These guys all die. Alright. Lifesteal 10, huh? Wow. That's a lot of lifesteal. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of lifesteal. At least we're feeding our champion quite a bit. Okay, so again, his lifesteal's not all used up. Um, I think it's probably in my best interest at this point to Prismal Dust the Construct. On the other hand, my Penumbra is so much better that... Uh, yeah, my Penumbra's just better, so... Shield him instead. And he dies. Hitting for 160 will do that. Hmm, Caven. Oh, that's an Ember Cache. Those are the three cards that we're going to get in exchange for the bad Embers. Um, having more might be kind of cool, I suppose. I wonder if the cave-in is worth it. Very expensive. I'm gonna take the Ember Cache. It'll let me get to my Ice Storms faster. Okay, that's a Glacial Seal. Okay, I'm gonna take that. We desperately need more backline removal and that kind of sort of counts. Okay. Hungry for Pyre remains again. <laughs> Since I let myself get hurt, although there is another Concealed Caverns. Um, yeah, I think I have to upgrade my mana. At this point, we just need more backline, so... Sort of tempted to freeze this Ice Tornado, just so I have the backline removal at the right time. <laughs> although we could just re reduce the cost and... Do Power Stone to it. I 
I think I'm gonna reduce the cost and do freeze to it. <laughs> so we can have it when we need it to, to clear the back line. Okay, do we want to bother increasing the power of a lance? I'm gonna say no, I just want to remove that crap. <laughs> you know what? No, I'll, I'll upgrade one of them. It's okay. Okay. Give it consume. Very good. We could remove consume on something. I don't really care to remove consume on Umberstone, but... Maybe on Space Prism. Ember Cash would be kind of hilarious. I think the most important thing is making the Umber Stone cheaper. Kind of interesting how this works by the way it doesn't actually cost x plus one it still just takes all your mana yeah um i mean i'm saying it takes it takes all your mana either way right so all it does is reduce the effect by one so it's kind of an interesting thing this is barely usable as it is though so i don't want to make it even less usable yeah, normally I would definitely do this to the Packed Morsels, but because we have so many Morsel Makers, I don't think there's any reason to do it. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Eternal Stone to this, and then, then we'll reduce the cost later. So we can just cast it every time it comes into the, into the hand without feeling too bad about it. That may be a mistake. We're gonna, we're gonna find out. Fingers crossed, something good. What? Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, I love the minor refraction here to make things small. Um. Although in this case we have nothing that's really big, so like making the alloy construct small is neat, but I don't think it's really worth it. Of course, increasing size like crazy, but look at that, man. Look at how good that is. He's pimping. My only regret is that I haven't upgraded him yet. What we could do instead is increase the size of the Morsel Maker and have, have three upgrades there. And then just fit him in the same place as Allied Construct as we were doing before. Um, the sheer power here is great, but... I'm actually going to do this and look for look for the long game. Now stands a behemoth. <laughs> Hell yeah. What's hilarious is I had already uh, increased his size, I think, with a large stone, right? Yeah. He's the biggest of boys now. So I went for the long-term long play instead of the short-term. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I think it will, though. Spell shielded statues, no big deal. Mm -hmm. And we have our big morsel maker immediately. Of course, not enough mana to use that and alloyed construct. It may it may behoove me to take mana after this fight, actually, so when this happens I'm not just owned. Because um, as as it stands, I'm very I'm very motivated to do Penumbra and my smaller Morsel Maker just to start charging him up. You know, I don't really have much of a choice here. Also, I may want to start putting him in the middle floor so I get my Morsels faster. This is cool. 
Uh, this is super cool, actually. We can do that, and we can Umberstone our boy. Immediately get that trample. So these guys will both die. Nice. Um, no space to make a morsel. So I guess... Let's see, there's... There's more weak things here that I could Ice Tornado. But... I'd like to give this guy more time to charge up, so... Never mind, we'll just hit the boss. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, alright. It's the problem with Ice Tornado, man. Thing in the back is not dying. Um, he has incant, so he'll get armor if I try to cast things here. I suppose we could void binding. That would give 12 damage versus his 10 armor. That's a real option. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't help. That's weird that that doesn't help. Actually, no, it's, it's not weird because the last attack is the thing killing him. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is a great time to Prism Retrieval. Depending on what we draw. Cast in the floor where there's no incant guy. And it's wacky, but we got our glacier, Glacial Seal. So... Yeah, I guess we put this back here. Seven damage. That should be the last piece of damage we take. Hey Aiden, how you doing, man? Okay, actually we'll take more if I don't manage to kill these sycophants. So... Yeah. Son of a bitch. I mean, that's okay. We hit, we hit the clip reflector three times. Um... Actually, that was ideal. That reduces damage, I think, the most. No, it would have been the same, even if both had died. Alright. Okay. Um, we'll cast here. Getting some Frostbite. Yeah. Okay, let's make our friend the Glacial Seal survive here. And we'll apply more frostbite. Okay. Again, applying more frostbite here. This guy is going to harvest and gain a lot of armor, which sucks. Six, six, and two. If I put a steward here, we don't die. Could put a morsel. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. This doesn't die. Shit. Yeah, and it's a really fun... It's a really fun champ. Really, really powerful. Although I may be doing this wrong. Um... Damn, we're gonna take more damage. My pyre is uh, just just getting hit way more than I would like. Oh, oops. Is something sweep here? Nothing's sweeping. So how is how is our magma morsel dying? He wasn't taking any damage, I don't think. Curious. Okay. I could Prismal Dust, I guess, but let's watch and see how this happens. Hmm. 
I mean, that makes sense that that happened, but I thought I saw zero damage on my, uh, on my pyre, or whatever it's called, on my glacial, uh, my guy here, glacial seal. Okay, again, this is not gonna die. God damn. Yeah, we're taking a ton of pyre damage. Nothing I can do to fix this, really. No, we gave him, we have, we gave him Trample as the thing. Um, it's just that he's not doing enough damage yet, which is very strange because we are getting four morsels per turn. This is just an awful lot of HP these things have. Yeah. I mean, I could go ahead and dust him for the boss fight. We're going to crush boss fights very easily, but it's a matter of not doing enough damage. This should do 50, and then... Yeah, we're almost there. He's just not quite fat enough. Hmm. All right, I don't want to waste my prismal dust on this thing. On the other hand, I, I do want to kill this thing in the back, so... Let's just... Let's just keep this alive. Thirty-three HP. Hmm. There's my morsel maker. Interesting. Hey look, there's my alloyed construct that I didn't get to draw. So that's our source of mana right there. Um, we now get Here's the cool thing about having all those embers. Uh, we now have eight applications of Prismal Dust if we want it. Technically seven because of the no consume. Um, so we'll apply that and pass turn. And he's gonna die. Furnace tap. Alright, we are so unbelievably hungry for damage that I have to take this. It's not even an option. Uh, and I am going to take Fel's Remorse instead of the capacity, strangely enough, because we're getting screwed on our starter hands sometimes to where we can't cast both of our creatures. Sweet. Wonderful. So all those calcified embers became excavated embers. So now we can have really big, just really, really big turns with Prismal Dust. Good stuff. And I think I have to take the Pyre Remains. We, we need HP badly. It's a Trinket Merchant as well, and we do have some gold. Merchant of Steel is tempting, because I mean, I, I, I gotta upgrade my Construct, but we're, we're too hurt. Unfortunately. Okay, before we do this, well, let me let me look at what it is again. Silence when they enter. Spell weakness. Who cares? Um, Hell's banners get mana. Right, probably take the Hell's banners. But before before we do all that, let's see what's in the cavern. Hmm. Okay. I'm tempted to take the shards. We we draw enough cards now via these excavated embers 
that we can afford to have some garbage on the deck, I, I suppose. And it would give me a way to heal my pyre. That doesn't purge, though, or it doesn't even consume. These shards are just there forever. Gosh, I don't know if I take any of this. The Penitent Remains is sort of tempting because that's plus four attack power um, for each card. And, and the thing about that is that means four attack power on each of my morsels, too. But that's some true garbage in the deck. The potential for very, very dead turns. I don't have that much draw, you know? Hmm. Oh, nice, Aiden. The double gorge is just outrageous for this combo. For sure. I'm gonna take this. We'll see how it works out. I have a suspicion it's more bad than good, but we'll see. Now, if there was anything that would let me draw, I would take it. Um, instead, I guess I will take the Hell's Banners. Have some more mana to work with, which is good for our X-Cost spells. Um, and I think I'm going to take the Sigiled Seaweed. The Silence is potentially really, really handy. We could reroll, of course, but... Actually, you know what? I'm going to reroll and hope for the Gorge. Okay, we didn't get it. We didn't get the Double Gorge. get spell power, we could get refracting lenses, which would let me heal, or we could get teeth of gold, which is a sort of a backline removal, but not not that good. Um, at this point in the game where things tend to have more than 2 HP in the back. We have a good bit of consume in the deck. I'm I'm gonna go for this thing. Although the backline damage was maybe the right choice. Oh, the overgorgers. And you gave him multi strike. Nice. It's pretty good, man. Okay, they're gonna heal if I take this challenge. Every single. Every single floor, they do a full heal. Shade wings, huh? Hundred and sixty damage. I don't know if we can do this. I can't do hundred and sixty damage with my hero, even even if I put both of the smaller morsel makers in the in the uh, top row. That's fifty damage plus. Well, he is upgraded now. Um, Twelve per, so he would get twenty-four, uh, forty-eight per turn. Twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six, forty-eight damage per turn. Well, we don't have much in the way of targeted damage. Is the other thing, um, glacial seal will solve the problem, sort of. I think we can do this. I think we can do this if I put the stuff in the middle and I draw the correct cards. Didn't draw the correct cards, god damn it. Um, okay. So this is this is just, you know, put simply not gonna do it right. So 12, 24, 30, 12, 24. Yeah, that's 48 damage, god damn. I shouldn't have taken this challenge that we may lose the game because I did that. It was a huge mistake. We need to, unfortunately, just stack now. Should have probably put one here for him to eat, but... Alright, good. Good. Very good. We drew the ice tornado. Alrighty. Um, that is handy. Please land on the right things. 
Okay, landed on the right things. Very good. Um, interesting. I could put both morsel makers here. It's probably not the correct thing to do. But I can't put both morsel makers up here because we didn't get the space crystal fast enough. We really do need another capacity. Um, which we're not going to get uh, without that without that spell. Putting both morsel makers here. Let's see how much damage would I have? I'd have fifty. It's not it's not right because this is just going to die. There's no question that this is going to die to the shade wings. So we have to put it here. God, it almost doesn't make sense to put this. Put this there, this is just gonna die unless I can get a really big... Really big prismal dust or something. I almost want to just not cast Morsel Maker here. And save it. Well, this is gonna be full up though on capacity forever, unfortunately. Alright, under protest we're gonna do this. Um... This thing is fully healing, remember. Uh -huh. Making this thing big was, I think, maybe a mistake. 89 damage right here. Not nearly enough. So we're going to eat a ton of pyre damage. 12, 16, 40 pyre damage. Yeah, I'm starting to think that at higher covenants you almost never take this trial. It's just too too dangerous. We're gonna lose. There's almost no question about it now. Alright, um I'll do this. Got a train steward, unfortunately. Um. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm never going to take that again, unless I'm 100% sure. If there's any doubt at all, I'm not going to take it. It's lost me too many runs at this point. It's a hard lesson, but it's one that's been learned. Yeah, this is it right here. These guys go up and then they... Yeah, they kill the... They kill the pyre, no question. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. So that's, that's cool because I learned the most important lesson of all. Um, probably in this game. That trial is just, uh, just too, too hard, um, Shadow, wow, that is a, that is a big creature. I'm gonna do that combo again and redeem myself, but, uh, man, that's disappointing. I feel like that's, like, the hubris, um, the hubris test, you know? And it tends to, I think it pretty much always shows up um, closer to the end than the beginning. And so things are going to have way more HP at that point. Alright, this time we have two packed morsels, an offering token, and a crucible extension. So we're behooved to get the gorge thing again if it's available, and it's not. Yeah, it's totally a hubris test. And I fall for hubris test all the time when I first start playing a game, but... That's the second time I've lost a really promising run off that stupid bullshit, so we're just not going to take it ever again unless we unless we have a deck that uh, is, is outputting a ton of damage. And, and it's unfortunate because that whole trial is it's a win more type thing, uh, especially when you get it on the one that gives you 400 gold. It's like, are you winning? Do you want to win more? <laughs> you know, so take take this uh, massive ass reward, you know, for, for a thing that most decks just can't 
win against. It's kind of frustrating. Alright, I could increase capacity. I think I think we just take the big boy. Of course we take the guild marker. That's fine. We're gonna do a ton of damage. We'll have to uh, we'll have to take a good gorge unit. He has trample, so let's put him in the middle. Yep. Too big to feed, unfortunately. So we're we'll give him uh, we'll give him life steal. Um, I'll put a steward up here to deal with potential uh, potential gold fairies, and we'll feed him a bit. And there's the gold fairy. There's another lifesteal guy. Of course, we'll give it to our friend here. Hmm, okay. Crucible extension is really nice with this guy. Could go ahead and put a train steward here, but then we wouldn't be able to feed him much, could we? Awesome. Um, this guy has a decent stat line now. I think I want to put a guy in front to take damage. And then put this down here. One of these is going to live, even if I frozen Lance. Although, if I... Let's see. Hell yeah, Morsel Miner, okay. If I were to put a Morsel up here... Well, first of all, I can Lance to kill this. And then he will just die if I put another Morsel up here. Oh man, I should have waited. Morsel Excavator. Okay, um... Oops! 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 Big oops! That's dazed. Yep. I should have put him in front to take the hit so that my, uh... steward would kill. I forgot about the daze. Very easy to forget about the days. Okay, forget the extension. Nice. Well, life steal will do it. Okay. Gem trove, huh? So we have to remember our dude is going to get really, really big, right? So unless I happen to get a really good gorger, it's probably not good to stack a bunch of morsels, although we're already kind of going in that direction by virtue of what we started with. What this deck is really lacking right now is backline removal. So as good as these cards are, I think we have to take the Mind Collapse. Okay, and of course the Allied Clan Pack gives us gives us some backline. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Titan's Tooth. First of all, we have two ways to discard it. Secondly, um, even if we don't discard it, it still just kills everything in the row that has low HP. 
Um, there's our overgorger. We have something to feed now. Okay. So probably the most important thing we could do for ourselves right now is uh, upgrade the overgorger. Stygian unit. Wow. We don't need spell weakness. Um, guess we'll take the crappy and can't guy. I probably should have just taken gold, but whatever. Okay, we could make him big. I'm really more interested in giving him multi-strike. Make the siren a tank, I guess. Put her in front and feed her. Okay, let's let's make her big. Man, should I just reroll? Should I just reroll and take the really the really risky play of trying to get multi-strike? I'm gonna do it. Okay, we got that instead. Lame. I deserve that. That was a risky play. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. This is why you don't re-roll. Yep. Yep, that was a big misplay. We're still uh doing well though. We have overgorgers, so. We have overgorger rather early. Oh, it just occurred to me I can't kill with him. Okay. Um. Oh, oops. Am I going to lose my hero? I thought I'd be able to put stuff in front, but... Yeah, no. He's going to die no matter what I do. Um, that's... That's fine. We'll be okay. Um, we'll just start feeding this. And buffing her. It's a very short fight, so. Big buff. Big buff. Big buff, okay. Prevent a little damage here. This is going to take a lot of damage. I don't want to give him life steal and a magma morsel. I can do 15 damage with the mine collapse, which I probably want to use on the conduit guy. That'll take away the spikes, which is really quite good. Um, but I don't need to use all four mana for that, so. Let's see. Let's keep buffing this dude. Probably gonna want to put Stewart in front. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna Lance here so that this dies in one hit to the pyre, and then we'll kill this. Oh wait, that's gonna heal. Um, damn. So I don't want my Overgorger to be so hurt. Hmm. <laughs> no, it's okay, because that, that's taking into account the healing.
Okie dokie. Okay, this thing dies now. Very good. That's the life steal. Now, unfortunately, I don't get to put a steward in front. It is possible to draw into it next turn, it's just not very likely. What I really want to draw into is the Titan's Tooth. Although I won't be able to tank this guy's attacks, really. Okay, let's give him more lifesteal. He's already got one. He won't survive a single attack, though, unfortunately. It'll be 8 and 5. It's 10, 13 damage. Um, plus uh, spikes too, so actually 15 damage. I can give him a little extra HP, but it's just it's just not good enough. Yeah, maybe I should have put the steward in front. Yep. It's not more damage. Surprising. Okay. We take we do absolutely no damage unless we Oh cool, we got the mine collapse. That's that's solid. Alright, well first of all, um see this gives two mana if I kill. I almost want to use the token. Yeah, I do, I do want to use the token. It's possible we could draw into Nope, didn't do it. I was gonna say it's possible we draw into Titan's Tooth, but we didn't. Probably get rid of the Frozen Lance. Because the Rubble Morsel is just better. Okay, yeah. We'll Lance him. Do the Shade Splitter. Yep. Mind Collapse him. Now he takes 84 damage, but... If I do that instead, he takes 84 damage still. Then I do... Let's see, he'll attack. Kill that. He'll attack again. This will get eaten. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where I place him, because yeah, that's not that much more damage. Damn. Rather close. Um closer than I would like. It's uh wouldn't have been that close if I had handled the Merchant of War correctly, Merchant of Steel or whatever. I may have to take the Immortal Trade just to make the... make the Gorger more tanky. Um, I think I'm gonna go for Prism, though. This is interesting. We super duper need more backline removal. Crypt Builder is a really wacky kind of backline removal where it shoves the front thing to the back. Uh, and technically we could use our two tokens with it, but I, I've never found that to be super reliable, so we're just going to take the, free, the uh, Frost. Okay, there's Morsel Master. Shadow Eater is great backline removal, believe it or not, but... Uh, I want to pump up my Gorger more. Hellvent, huh? If we had gotten lucky with our upgrades on the Gorger, could have gone in that direction, but... No, we're gonna do this. We're gonna take the heal. I think a spell deals two damage to a random enemy on that floor. Hmm. Uh, winged, winged technology is really, really good for tanking, which is exactly what we need, so we'll take that. Hello! Petty Theft is a way to do backline damage, so we'll take that. Yeah, it's really, really good versus sweeping for sure. Ah. 
Okay, let's not suicide our penumbra this time, yeah? So these have damage shield this time. Interesting. Well, we're gonna petty theft, but I can't really put my siren down here or she'll just die. So, let's just go ahead and petty theft the guy who does damage, yeah? Give me that money. Um, put this here. I think. Okay. I guess I could, let's see. You know what, I could put the steward down there and then the siren down here and they will not die. So let's do that. Well, that's annoying. All right. Um, probably the most important thing is for me to get the Scourger out. So let's do that. Um, both these things are going to die. That thing's going to live, so that's cool. Probably best if I go ahead and take down the... Uh, what is that, a healer? Well, let's take down the damage dealer. He buffs, he buffs as she buffs as I cast spells. Um, I'm, I'm interested in extending here. Technically we could have put a steward here, I suppose, and it might have been better, but... Again, I'm trying to make my Gorger good in the long term so we can do enough damage. Alright, there's Morsel Master. First things first, let's do this. Again, casting spells in front of that. We have three mana. Uh, I need to get rid of shades. Put this here. Okay. Right, this is going to explode, so I can just put... I can just increase this guy's, uh, guy's damage and also not take any damage because of damage shield. Um, in fact, come to think of it, we should have put this thing right here, probably. Yeah. Yeah, these are super, super good. I shouldn't have gotten rid of my Shade Splitter. Now that I think about it, we could have fed her some more. Flash freeze, okay, um, this is why we got this, except we can't kill the explosive this way. Hmm. Well, I can buff her until she doesn't die, so that's cool. Flash freeze is better done on the, uh, on the guy there. And then we can simply... First of all, we definitely want to give this guy a lot of life steal. Boom. Um, probably give this, uh, put this right here so she takes no damage. Good. I think I'm okay with him taking a little damage. Let's. Yeah, maybe I should have given him the life steal. Hmm. Overgorger is definitely going to become the best card I have. Um, it's just not quite there yet. Alright, if I prism here... And then I can start putting extra things there. Hmm... Okay. This is going to die. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it. There's no way to make morsels, unfortunately. Yep, nothing I can do.
Oh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, he has lifesteal. Uh, nevertheless, we're definitely going to charge him up more. Let's see. Yeah, let's... I wonder if I get more damage. Actually, it's better if I use the Frozen Lance here. Upgrade the damage on my Siren. Because I'm very likely to just be able to Shade Split here. Which I can. And in fact, we get to Mind Collapse him. Get our money back. I can have the absolute best morsels. Oh, that's sick. Boom! Two, two damage shields, very nice. Yeah, we're gonna crush this dude. And because of this wacky-ass relic, I can do stuff like this and get damage where I otherwise wouldn't. Oh, he's not gonna die. Uh... Well, he still might. Let me, um... Let me pull this. It's definitely not gonna be Crucible Extension, so we can discard that. Flash Freeze, huh? Okay, so... We could put the steward in front. Technically, if I wanted to, I could flash freeze and then Titan's Tooth, which is 18 Frostbite, which is... It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of extra damage, but uh, it's... Almost definitely... Well, wait a minute. I can just discard this. What am I thinking? Of course. Um, and then we put this guy in front because he's going to have damage shield. There's going to be two of them. I should have stewarded first, actually. That was a mistake. Now I don't get to do that. Fortunately, Frostbite bails me out. Frostbite is strong, even a little bit of it. Oh, oh my god, yeah, we gotta take... Gotta take Shroud Mitosis, hell yeah. Okay, um... We probably have enough backline at this point that we don't need this, but this thing is so strong that I'm going to take it, I think. We can put him in front of our Siren of the Sea and just get some value out of it. Alright, we're forced to take capacity because our dude is just going to get bigger and bigger. Too fat to fit. Alright, um... Let's try to do this Merchant of Steel again, only don't get owned this time. Okay, quick. Yes. That's a good one. We want to Heartstone the Titan Sentry. And we want to Battlestone him as well, so he has a lot of HP. Yeah. We have enough money to reroll. This time it is worth it. Oh my god, yes. Alright, quick and multi-strike. That's what we want to see. Okay. We'll also increase the damage on our Morsel Master. And I'll give him some HP too, so he doesn't just die to spikes. Alright, we're in the business now. We're, we're in the money. Here it is. There's the trial I hate. Um, so 80 damage. 80 damage. 80 HP. A little more from armor. Uh, from encanting, which I can just not trigger, basically. Um, yeah, we're actually okay to do this. We have two different units that can one-shot these dudes right off the bat. And their damage only goes up from there. So... In this case, it's okay. I feel really confident that we can do this. And we get a relic for it, so... Okay, cool. Hell yeah, Morsel Miner. So if I do this here, my boy here kills him. Uh, I cannot put a dude in front, unfortunately. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we really need capacity increases here. <laughs> okay, I want a Shade Splitter. He's just not gonna die unless I can get... I mean, I could put the Morsel Master in front. And that would kill this thing, although the Morsel Master would just die eventually. That's kind of lame. Yeah, we really need to space prism this. We're gonna focus on upgrading our Overgorger, though. It's quite simply the right thing to do. Okay, we'll put... Man, Titan Sentry would go really well in front of him, too, actually. Maybe not so much for this fight, but... Yeah, so he fully heals. What a shame! Okay. Petty Theft. Discard this. Let's kill those things, yeah. Um... Petty theft this fella in the back, except that's going to give him... No, it's not. He doesn't have the the trigger there, so... Get tons of money. And yeah, we are going to Crucible Extend so we can put something in front of him. And then these two Frozen Lances do nothing for me. die, of course, um, thanks to my quick multi-strike bro here. Okay, I don't want to give that guy armor. This is going to die, though. We really have to draw... Well, I could put my steward here, and that would make him live. Ooh, that's a shade splitter. Okay. And then that lets this thing die. Um, but I can't cast anything, because if I did, he would encant and not die. And I'm more interested in him dying than I am in killing something in the back, because he has 80 HP and we, we have the full heal penalty. Uh, I do want to do this. Summon some more stuff. Um, and then we'll just flash freeze here, I guess. Not that it really matters. Yeah, multi stick quick gorger is really as good as it gets, so I'm really glad that finally worked out for me. Brief respite, okay. Okay, we can prism here. And put another bro here. We can mine collapse, yeah. Get some mana, and put this dude in front, so that our Penumbra will be able to do a little something. 80 damage, not bad. Act Morsels, um, we want to give this guy damage shield. Okay, then we want to sh Shroud Mitosis that. 3, 4, 5. Nice. We would have had way more, except for the fact that there's a 7 unit limit. Which is a bit of a shame. We would have had like nine <laughs> jewelers based on the way Morsel Master works. Um, nine total, I think. Something like that. Okay, I can't fit any dudes here or else I would put them in front to get some more damage. Let's give our boy here some, some more HP. What's this resolve effect? Gain 5 damage? Hmm. A bit ugly. Crucible extension. Oh, should I be casting Siren of the Sea? I should be, I messed up. Alright, let's put that here, I guess. 
few shade splitters. Anyway, we're gonna crush him. The Gorger just crushes him so hard. Aww, no morsels. Oh well. What do we got here? Enemy units enter with frostbite too. Okay. That's backline removal. Feast. Feast, okay. Um... I don't know if we're generating enough morsels to make good use of Feast right now. Actually, yeah, we are. I almost want the Gem Trove more, but... I'm gonna take the Feast. We don't have four mana as the thing, so... It's sort of unusable on many turns. That's a Horfrost Effigy. That would let me double up my Frost, although I don't know if we're generating enough to really get value out of it. I guess we kind of are with this high HP um, Titan Sentry. Probably more inclined to take the preserve so I can frost the uh, the feast and use it at the perfect turn. I think I'm gonna get more out of that. Okay. So we have nothing really that we'd want to upgrade in terms of creatures. So the Merchant of Steel would be a bit of a waste, as much as I want this artifact. Um, we're going to do this. Take some money. Do the Merchant of Magic. Uh, we could have Holdover. Oh boy! We could have Holdover on Feast. Kind of defeats the purpose of me uh, pulling the Preserve. Although we could hold over the Preserve. <laughs> um, oh my god, we could hold over the Petty Theft. Oh, Jesus, we could get so much money with that. <laughs> Imagine if we did holdover on the petty theft and then increase the spell power a bit. That is dumb. How much game do we have left? Three battles. One, two, three, four. Four battles, but really only three where the petty theft matters. Oh, is that greedy? That's probably a little too greedy. Um, I want to get power, not... Not gold. Alright, let's um let's increase the damage on the mine collapse, yeah. I am gonna hold over the feast. I think I just get too much value out of it. Probably Emberstone the extension. Do a reroll. Double stack. Uh, frostbite 20 on everybody. Let's do it to the flash freeze instead. Okay, we'll increase the power of the petty theft. Why not? And we'll reduce the cost of the flash freeze to zero. That's not bad. It's an okay use of gold. Wouldn't say it's the best, but it's okay. Or these guys. That's instant mana. Do we need extra mana? Not really. We just fixed our mana problem quite a lot. Or quite quite a bit. I think I'm just gonna skip. I mean this becomes cool later, but I don't I don't wanna clunk up my deck really. Even, even on a temporary basis. I know I can win with this deck as it is if I just don't take any weird chances. Just hit Cuff 10. Nice, man. You're catching up to me. Partially because I'm not streaming enough and partially because I keep losing games. <laughs> extra damage, I, th I think... I think we're safe to deal with extra damage because of the fact that Overgorger is just going to kill all this crap in one hit.
Also, uh, all this stuff just dies instantly. Oh my god. Man, that's good. Okay. So we're gonna set things up for our friend. The Overgorger. Look at that. That's so dumb. <laughs> And by dumb, I mean awesome. Um, okay. This is annoying. No, no overgorger yet. Okay, it's it's fine though. I guess I could have extended this instead for penumbra. Something we could do is put this here, but I just don't want to. I don't even want to cast my siren here, unfortunately, but I I might. Um. They do too much damage, though. She'll just die. So the question is, do I want to junk this up? And I really I really don't. Um, I think I'm just going to be pretty greedy and um, cast Morsels here. Um. Alright, Wesley. Enjoy yourself, man. So we got a Miner. We could put a Miner here and then Mitosis it. That'd be kind of cool. Certainly we can do an excavator here and still have room for Overgorger. He's three uh, three capacity. Yeah. i tell you what I'm going to do. Let's see. We need to do 95 damage. I am going to put the Morsel Miner here, and then we're going to Mitosis him. That's good. Let's do the excavator, and I... Oh, right. He's going to eat them. Whoops. Okay, that's, that's fine. We'll just put everything then, I guess. Alright, this is fine. Very late gorger. Hmm. Super, super late gorger. What can I do, you know? I guess I could put my sentry here, but that's such a waste. We're just gonna wait. With all that stuff dying immediately on the first floor, it's just too good, you know? Okay, there's the feast. Finally. Put that here. Go ahead and feast them so that we hold over it for next turn. Whoops. Brief respite. Okay, we'll prism here. Feast again. We need more morsels, or we just need to draw over Gorger at the right time, really. Die. Jeweler. We'll just preserve the feast so it stops taking away all my cards, you know? I'm gonna cast this steward just in case I'm able to draw my. Draw my Revenge Frost guy. Revenge Frost guy with 70 HP is pretty good to put in front of him. Okay, we didn't get two. I can't even really use Petty Theft here to kill this. Um, let's see, 14. Yeah, he would have 14 armor and 5 HP. It's just not enough. This only does 12 damage. Okay, um... So in that case, we will flash freeze the boss. Put the steward here. 
Petty theft the boss just for the damage. And he's gonna die. Um, but we may as well feed our boys some more. Yep. What a pimp. What a good card. Just outrageous. Do not need another feast. Um, I will take the gem trove, I think. Though we don't have the mana to support it. Um, we can make it cost less later. Yeah. Uh, huh. No. Just take the cash. Seraph will purge off debuffs, so it's whatever. Okay, Merchant of Steel, Merchant of Magic. We need to make that. We need to make that gem. a gemstone cheaper. There's no question about that, so we'll do that right now. Wow, I normally would never put Permafrost and Holdover on the same card, but uh, it is tempting. Hmm. Actually, maybe I'll just Permafrost the Gym Tro so we can cast it at the right turn, you know? Could upgrade the Petty Theft with Consume, that's kind of goofy. Let's do it to the Frozen Lance so we can get this thing out. On the other hand, we could do it to the Titan's Tooth. That would be some extra damage to everything in the in the stack. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, then we'll Permafrost. Yeah. Um, maybe. Huh. So a lot of good permafrost targets, just a lot. Petty Theft is a pretty good one, although I almost just want to add more damage to it. I think we have to do it to the gem trip. It's very expensive though. If we could just reduce the cost again, that's probably probably the right thing to do. I think I really am gonna permafrost the feast. It's really weird to put that in holdover on the same card, but it's probably the correct choice. Oh man, we could make the space prism last forever. We already have a one cost cru crucible extension though. Okay, well, this is a soft removal basically on that frozen lance. Gonna make the gem trove super cheap, or as cheap as we can get it. Um, the question is, do I bother to do this? Do I get enough value out of increasing capacity? For 70 gold. I think I do. Yeah, I think, I think I do. Hard choice, really. Okay, she's gonna buff up her statues. I can't really tell you guys just how good this Rules of Containment is. It just automatically kills backline instantly. Stupid strong, really. Okay, this is cool. I definitely want to put this here. And because I drew my space prism, I can put this here immediately. Which is the lineup I always wanted, really. Um, put some morsels in play. Ready for the gorger. Okay, we've just applied some frostbite to the boss. Nice. Here's the gorger immediately. 
Slash freeze. Okay, because I'm a greedy Gus, we're gonna go ahead and do the Shade Splitter. And, uh, just have that in deck. So the Morsel will get drawn back again. Okay, um, this stuff all dies because Overgorger is just a beast. I am mildly curious how how he's taking damage. Oh, it's Frostbite, okay. Okay, the Siren is just... He doesn't really have a place he wants to be, huh? Just don't have the space for him, really. If we could increase this by two more, which throughout a really long fight may indeed be possible, could be the right thing to do. Anyway, um, we'll do this. Uh-huh. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill this in the back. Alright. The idea, the idea being that I can do more damage to the boss this way. There's no encant here, so... Soften up the statue. Nice. Morsel Master. Let's get the steward out of the out of the fight. There's our gem trove. Um certainly we'd like to do this. Boom. Boom. This is where Feast becomes useful. Boom. And again, because I'm greedy as hell, I'm gonna freeze the Magma Morsel. Okay, if I do this, this thing dies, although it'll die up here. So, whatever, we'll just put a steward here to get it out of the deck. Interesting. Well, it's time to petty theft, baby. Get some of that money. Okay. So if I were to Crucible Extension, then we would get to Shroud Mitosis here. so greedy. This is awesome. I'll do that. I'll do that. Feast all this stuff, yeah. This is going to be the biggest overgorger of all time. Nice. Okay. So I should have cast that in this room to buff that up. There's our gem trove again. Um, I don't get to use my petty theft unless I use it to kill my own guy, except I can't because it's only enemy units. So we'll just gem trove here. Get a lot of these fellas. Um, oh, oops, I should be casting. Well, no, because that would have done energy shield, or damage shield down here. Um, we do want a splitter here. Okay. Perfect. 
surely, yeah, sure, I was gonna say surely he dies. There's, there's no way. There's just no way. Thirty-two. Not bad. And there's Shroud Spike. Okay, we still have to take capacity because of uh, how fat our main guy is getting. I like this. Um, I like the fat version of Penumbra because he just kind of does the damage that you need him to do. Oh, that's a hell vent. Um. Is there any universe where I don't copy my 180x2 Overgorger? There's probably not. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's chests. Petty theft. Boom. Secret, secret use of that card. Yeah, of course we copy the Overgorger. Why wouldn't I? It's so good. He's so big. Mm. Okay, there's no question to me that we can do enough damage to crush these dudes. Even with the extra armor. Some of these trials are just not like the others, man. I'm not sure if I like that. The fact that, you know, 20 armor per dude. Compare that to healing between every floor. I guess there are some decks that have more problems with this. I mean, I don't get to kill the backline as easily, but... I don't know, man. the self-mutilation. Um, so that doesn't own me. And then... Let's kill this thing. Oh, it won't die. Whoops. Interesting. Okay, there's no way to increase the size. Preserve the Shade Splitter. Um, yeah. Focus on upgrading our boy at the top. Could use another Morsel Master, I suppose. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Honestly, I don't even care if the Penumbra dies is the coolest thing about this deck. He just kind of gives me time to charge up my Overgorges even more. <laughs> Although, they're already to the point where this deck is essentially unbeatable, you know. Okay, this can't kill anything. I'm going to use it just to get it out of the deck. Cool. Yeah, we should definitely be focusing on... Um, 
feeding this dude. Okay, so we'll feast. And then we'll Magma Morsel and we'll Shroud Spike one of these dudes, I guess. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. I mean, look at this. Look at how good this thing. It's doing 513 damage, and he's not even really buffed. He's just a he's just a dude, you know. Um, just an outrageously powerful champion. Honestly, I would make the argument that he's better. He's better than the Gorger version of this unit, um, if only because he's just he's just a huge dude. You get to cast at the start of every single, every single combat. You know, he gives you so much wiggle room to build up the rest of your plan. You know. So I don't get to use mitosis here really. Oh well. That thing's gonna gonna die with my overcorcher barely taking damage. <laughs> okay, um We'll still put stuff here instead of down there because um the Morsel Master will do more, you know. Yeah, this is quite the steamroll. Cannibalize. Sacrifice. Kill a friendly unit to play this card. Interesting. I didn't know that card existed. Um, see, that would be nice. That would be nice with the wax faction, I guess. I could sacrifice a morsel. I'm going to take this just to make it gold. Plus, I mean, having more morsels would be kind of nice. Uh, and again, I'm just going to take this to make it gold. <laughs> I'm willing to junk up my deck a little for that. I know it's just cosmetic, but... Whatever. Oh my god, another hell vent. Oh, that's outrageous. Trinkets available. I should have looked at those first. Mine jacks. Okay, well, that definitely makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Reroll. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's just dump our money on uh, on that stuff. We'll, copper, we'll copy the 238x2 <laughs> over Corcher. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay. Oh, I should have permafrosted the uh, spike, actually. Yeah, whatever. I'm not exactly worried about losing this game. Something tells me we've uh, we've got this. Oh, that's weird. Why doesn't he have uh? Why, why don't I have damage shield from the wing technology? How curious. Uh, 
Oh, because she cleansed it. Okay. Yeah, she cleanses one, one stack. Alrighty, that's fine. Um... I almost want to put this here. He would kill the front too. I could, what I could do is I could mitosis this and then out of four there. And I think they would come in with the damage shield. Honestly, why don't we just put this here? And then we get to apply some frost to him. Yeah. We'll just let him die, you know. Put Overgorger up here. Um, go ahead and mitosis this fella. Sure, why not? Actually, I should have shade splittered first. It's a slight mistake. Oh, whoa, whoops. Right, I draw cards if I summon a morsel unit. I just passed when I could have cast my my thing there. Okay. Alrighty. I almost want to put two overcorches in the same place. <laughs> Which would be pretty goofy, but... We could totally do that. Let's see, we have Morsel Jeweler. All of this stuff is free, by the way, because of um, Forever Flame, which is just kind of goofy. And when we summon two things, we get three more mana. So we're going to have a huge Shroud Spike here if I want. Um... Yeah, we're going to put this here. Uh-huh. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna get the mana. I should have actually I should have morsel mastered first. That was a mistake. We'll do that. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at all that damage shield. Damage shield 14. No big deal. We can still fit another Overgorger here, I just realized. That's kind of cool. Okay, some slight misplays there. Nothing too bad. Feast here. Cool thing is, with this offering token, I can combine that. Oh, wait. How curious. Okay, so this is not like Slay the Spire. Um, if I were to look at my, my feast, the holdover, it only goes to the top of the draw pile after the turn passes. So you can't do... Um, Actually, I don't like that at all. That uh, takes away the capacity to do fun little combos where, in theory, you could um, use Offering to get the card immediately. Hopefully they change that, because that would be kind of cool. Alright, let's uh, give our boy here some lifesteal. And honestly, I'm just going to cast my cast my second Overcorcher. <laughs> Pretty sure we can just like pass turn to win at this point. At least I, I think so. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to really put too much thought into this. Honestly, we could, we could probably kill the final boss ahead of schedule if I could increase the size of these things a little more.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, how much damage? He's gonna take like a thousand damage just from this. <laughs> Forty-four. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go for the early kill. Could be cool. Goes to the middle. 180 damage. Kind of lame because the Overgorger doesn't get to do his fun, fun work. Let's see, I can mind collapse. I think I'd... I want to give this guy life steal, yeah? There's our flash freeze. We definitely want to kill one of these dudes so the Overgorger can... Well, hold up. If I... If I do the flash freeze and I do the mine collapse, we still don't get to do anything with the Overgorger, really. Yeah, that sucks. Um, Alright, forget it. Let's just feast here. Hopefully he goes up top, then he'll die. Um, flash freeze him. Do the mana here could potentially be useful. Okay. Technically we do get a little more damage if I mind collapse this, so let's do that. I'm just gonna pass turn, I think. Ah, alright, we don't get to kill him early. That's that's fine. Uh, let's just pass turn to win. There's a 0% chance he can do anything to me. He dies before even reaching my best row. My god. What a, what a combo. Honestly, like, the best steamrolls in this game really almost always seem to be from copying some super broken thing. Or dead weight. Which, ironically, can be a good thing. Almost got max Stygian guard. Okay, well that was Covenant Rank 16 with Umbra and Stygian. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At RoseCrypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.